haven't seen Tome in a while. Who knows what that guy's working on these days? <laughs> Probably something of the utmost importance, as ever. Taking guests out for lavish meals, cleaning up around the house, the usual. We have people like that to thank for the decline of the samurai spirit in this day and age. If you're just gonna schmooze your way through every problem in life, you might as well put your blade on the scrap heap. Also, I heard he's Monstat, born and bred. Just saying. Oh, well, no wonder. What do you think Miss Kamisato even sees in that guy? <sighs> Sorry, I haven't slept too well the last couple of days, on account of all this rain we've been having. Wait, what are you all doing here? Has something happened? <laughs> we were just having a little chat on our break. It's time we were going. There's still lots to do. We're busy people, Toma. You'd do well to grow a sense of urgency, too. Well, uh, thank you, gentlemen. I'll think about that when my vacation's over. Sorry I'm a little late. Something came up. Yep, <laughs> I sure did. No big deal, though. People like to criticize those who don't fit in. It's the same everywhere. If a little private gossiping helps them let off some steam, well, good for them. It does no harm to the Kamisato clan. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> exactly. Or live and let live, as they say. Today, it's time for a hard-earned rest. There's been so much to deal with since I got out of Komori Tea House. Oh man, this vacation's been a long time coming. Uh, there's too much going on here. Let's find somewhere more peaceful to discuss the plan for the day. You're still my guest after all, and I'd like to hear your ideas. I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to do something you'll enjoy. But despite that, I still haven't got a clear plan on where to take you. <laughs> so, what do you usually prefer? Indoor or outdoor activities? You want to go out for a stroll? <laughs> Perfect! I have a couple of places I was going to recommend. If you like cats and dogs, there's a great place I can take you. I go there pretty much every time I have a day off. You can't help but be in a good mood when you're surrounded by cute animals. Feeling that, we could go downtown if you'd prefer. Narukami Island will be packed right now, so we could go to Rito instead. <laughs> Back to where we first met. I haven't been there in a long time, actually. Which one are you feeling? It's up to you. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd pick that one. Nice to know we share the same interests. There's a sakura tree in Hanamizaka where I go to feed them. Let's meet there in a short while. I need to grab a few things, though. Can't go there empty-handed. This is a pretty good spot, right? There are tons of stray cats and dogs here at the outskirts. Every time I come to Kamori Tea House, I bring some food for them. It just sort of became a tradition over time. At first, it was a bit of a chore, but the more time I spent with them, the more I came to enjoy it. You'd think so? Well, feed them enough times and I'm sure you'll win their affection too. Not only that, you'll also start to feel that they're your responsibility. Whenever you have any free time, you'll find yourself desperate to come and visit them. Why don't you try feeding them? I brought some of their favorite food just so you could get into their good graces. <laughs> don't worry, I've trained them to not be aggressive toward humans. They'll still run away if they find someone threatening, but I'm pretty sure they'll like you. You're an approachable person, and they can tell. Animals are very sensitive to these things. Well, that didn't take long. Look at that! Best buds already. Some of the dogs are even showing their bellies. That's a sign that they really trust you. Uh, well, <laughs> you'll rarely see Tarumaru roll onto his back, though. He's a ninja dog, so he's always on guard in case an enemy approaches. Speaking of ninja dogs, I actually saw one the other day on the beach north of Konda Village. Ah, uh, well, that's the thing. They rarely go off on their own. Usually they stick with their human ninja partners. 
After retiring, most ninja dogs are taken in by their partner, or sometimes someone else in the Yashiro Commission will take them in. It's extremely rare to find them on their own in the wild, so it makes me a little concerned. <laughs> Believe me, I wanted to bring it back to the Yashiro Commission, but it wouldn't let me. I tried establishing some trust by petting it on the head, but it gave me a nasty bite. Still, I don't want to give up on it. Nobody really goes out that way, and I don't know what it would have to eat out there. That would be great. Even though it's not the most approachable dog, I still want to give it another try. It seems to sit in the same spot on the beach all day, only moving to take a few paces back when the tide comes in. Last time I saw it, its fur was soaking wet. Ultimately, bringing it back to the Yashiro Commission is going to be a lot better for it than leaving it sitting out in the elements all day. Or we could even bring it back to Komori Tea House to make friends with Taromaru. <laughs> well, let's see if we even get that far. one just up ahead judging by the breed and apparel it definitely is a ninja dog from the shimatsuban it's looking a little more docile today shall we try and get closer oh uh you should stay a few paces behind me i know it looks calm but if it gets riled up it could pounce and bite in an instant uh, here doggy good doggy you hungry my friend i brought you a nice little snack Oh, you're a vicious little thing, aren't you? He almost bit me again. Look at you, wasting away. You must want to eat a little something. You don't have to come back with us, but come on. A dog's gotta eat, right? You're not worried it's poisoned, are you? Here, I'll take the first bite. Hmm. See? Delicious and poison-free. Come on, just have a bite. A little tiny bite. And then I'll leave you alone. How's that sound? Uh, looks like it has zero intention of eating the food we brought. Is it just me, or does it look kind of on edge? Maybe it's something in the sea, or something nearby that's got him on alert. You think he was attacked by monsters? Hmm, it's possible. People do tend to lose their appetite in dangerous situations. Maybe it's the same for dogs, too. Let's clear out the area on behalf of our canine companion here. Thanks for helping out. This place should be a little more tranquil now. Wait! Hear me! Cut to the chase! Doggy, look, no more danger. You've got to want to eat a little something now. Come on, eat up. Then, whatever's on your mind, you can tell me and Tarumaru all about it. <sighs> Rejected again. And there I was, thinking that I was the one it didn't like. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so on edge around you, too. <sighs> 
Well, to me, this proves that it simply doesn't want to leave this place. For now, let's not force it. Time to head back to the Yashiro Commission headquarters. I'll see if I can find its owner, so they can come and collect it. That's right! The Shumatsuban only answered to the Yashiro Commissioner, Kamisato Ayato. Under most circumstances, no one else has the authority to inquire into their business. However, I was talking to Commissioner Ayato a while back, and he agreed to let me bend the rules in exceptional circumstances. That doesn't mean I can mobilize the Shumatsuban to do my bidding, of course, but I'll be able to get the intel we need, no problem. It's sort of a prerogative I have. Oh, alright, there's a good dog. Calm down. We're not gonna take you away. It's much safer here now, see? We're gonna leave now. Make sure to give yourself a good rest. <sighs> alright, let's go. This ninja dog you speak of, it rings a bell. Could I trouble you to describe it again for me? A red Shiba with a scar in its eye, dressed in black stealth wear. Oh, I think I know. <laughs> you must be talking about Inu Shosho. That's right. I'm really surprised that's where you found him. Perfect. Now that we've figured out his identity, we can get his owner to go and collect it. Uh, I should add, it's never good to have dogs run away like this. The poor thing's out there all on his own with no real food or shelter day and night. So, shall we go find the owner and see if they have time to fetch him? I'm sorry, that won't be possible. Why? I'm afraid I can't disclose the owner's identity. What I can tell you is they went out to sea on a dangerous mission and he won't be coming back. I had no idea that he hadn't taken Minu Shosho along with him. Seems he decided to face this one alone. I can only assume that Inu Shosho is waiting for his owner to come back, which is why he refuses to move from the beach. Did Inu Shosho's owner leave anything behind? You know, any personal items or a Shumatsuban uniform, perhaps? Most of his possessions disappeared along with the man himself. The only thing I can think of is the kunai he used to train with. Come with me. I'll see if I can find it for you. Ah, yes, this looks like the one. The reason this kunai stands out in my memory is because when he first joined the Shumatsuban, he trained at it harder than anyone else, to the point where the tip became blunt from erosion. Take it. The Shumatsuban will make sure to cover Inu Shosho's daily expenses. <sighs> Thank you kindly. Let's just hope Inu Shosho remembers the sense of this kunai. Then again, I'm certain he will. Let's go pay Inu Shosho another visit. Hey, Inu Shosho? <sighs> I know, I know. How come this strange man suddenly knows your name? You're waiting for your master to come home, aren't you? Mind if we wait with you? Don't worry, we're not looking to suddenly whisk you away. Uh, look at this. Do you know what it is? <laughs> As I thought, you remember. Excellent! It looks like what he needed wasn't for us to take him away, but for us to accompany him. <sighs> you know, I sometimes did this too, when I first arrived in Inazuma. I just stood on the beach, looking out at the horizon. Everyone has people and events from their past that they look back on fondly. I guess we only grow when we realize that those things aren't coming back. <sighs> the Shumatsuban is not a peaceful organization. <laughs> And being a ninja is an extremely dangerous profession. Many of the Shumatsuban's ninjas have paid the ultimate price in the course of carrying out top secret missions. The Shumatsuban never discloses their identities, and doesn't publicly commemorate them. But at least now, Inu Shosho, you're not the only one in the world who remembers him. From today onward, we will join you in honoring his memory. <laughs> I think that means deal, right? <laughs> hey, in the future, let's try and come back here from time to time, when we get the chance. Maybe we could build a little kennel for him? In the long term, being out in the cold and wet like this could start to cause joint problems. I could make some winter clothes for him too. In fact, I'd better get started. <laughs> 